Whenever you think of the colors for CSX, you usually think of the blue, yellow, and a bit of gray depending on the scheme. The one color you wouldn't think of is green, but seeing as you clicked on the video, there were two CSX locomotives that were painted up in green under different circumstances. And this is their story. Our story begins all the way back into the late 1930s, when the rather young locomotive builder, Electromotive Diesel, began production of the NW series of switcher locomotives. The model we're bringing up is the NW2, which began production in 1939. Featuring a welded frame and a new 12-cylinder engine capable of producing 900 horsepower, the NW2s proved to be very successful, and soon enough, sales skyrocketed. Not only because of their suitability, they were also inexpensive to afford, and they would go down in history as EMD's most popular road switcher, with over 1,145 units built for use for several different railroads in North America. One of these railroads to purchase the NW2 was the Chesapeake in Ohio, which got their units in 1949, with one of their units being number 5065. Built in June 1949, 5065, alongside the various NW2s, were used system-wide for switching or transfer jobs across the CNO, and they managed to last into the days of the Chessy system. This is where the unit would receive its unique paint job, being given a new livery with the whole unit, capped to bogies, covered in green, with white handrails and white highlights galore. And with text spread all over saying stuff like, safety first, or accident free, or safety and quality go hand in hand. Jeez, that's aged a little poorly. This unit's paint job definitely made it stand out compared to the already colorful locomotives from the Chessie's roster. I mean, you don't really see a green locomotive in a fleet full of yellow, orange, and dark blue. However, even with the fresh paint job, 5065, alongside with the other NW2s, were already being displaced by more powerful switchers, such as the SW1200s. And soon enough, retirements would eventually start in the 1980s. Many of these would be sold off to various industrial companies, chemical plants, Tropicana, tourist railroads, or be traded back to EMD and likely scrapped. But thankfully, 5065 would stay on to CSX's roster. As for what the unit did, well, the Green Goat, now numbered 9565, would become Cumberland's new shop switcher, but only working for six years before being retired in August 1991. It would be sold off to a diesel supply leasing company the next year, then sold to the Bruce Grain Company, and later be sold off to Advanced Bioenergy in 2008, and it has been lingering around Aberdeen, South Dakota ever since. Now, since we got the green shop goat covered, let's go over to the other one. The C3-7 was introduced by General Electric in 1976 in response to EMD's SC40-2s, being an update to the existing U30Cs with upgraded electrical systems and better tractive effort. About 1137 units were produced in total, nearly 8 units less compared to how many the NW2 had. The Louisville Nashville will be one of these customers, purchasing 44-7s under the family line system. The unit of focus is number 7067, being built in August 1980 in one of the batches built in the new decade. If you know the formula, 7067 would have a regular normal life and service, would be absorbed in the seaboard system, then being absorbed by CSX. Continuing into the 1990s, 7067 would be repainted into the YN2 paint scheme and continued on in regular service. However, towards the end of the decade, the Dash 7s were slowly being sidelined from service in favor of the newer AC44s that were taking over most of the freight trains. Unfortunately, 7067 would be one of them, and would eventually be stored in Huntington, West Virginia, with its future unknown. However, the locomotive would receive a makeover not long after, as it would be painted in a unique livery in partnership with the nearby Marshall University and renumbered to 1837, which was in reference to the year the college was founded. While it did receive a nice paint job, the unit was non-operational as the unit was gutted when it was in storage, 
now being reduced to a giant yard slug. With the makeover, the unit would be used for university functions in collaboration with CSX and the university. However, with time passing, the locomotive couldn't find a long-term home. It was decided to store the locomotive at the Huntington Railroad Historical Society, and for a few years, 1837 would be stored in one of the nearby yards, with a rather neutral ending to say the least. However, in 2021, the society was beginning the process of liquidating its assets, with 1837 included, and because of this, her future was already in thread the cutter's torch once again. But thankfully, our story does have a happy ending. The Kentucky Steam Heritage Corp, the same people who owned 2716, saw the rarity of this locomotive and made negotiations with the society to purchase the unit and have it restored back to its prime as a part of a static display. And finally, in 2022, 1837 emerged from the Huntington shops back into her stylish family line's livery and had moved to her new home in Irving, Kentucky. A happy ending for a university showgirl. So in conclusion, CSX's Green Gems definitely had some... unique stories to tell. One became a shop switcher, and one was a showgirl for a university with no home. Yet, both managed to still exist to this day, albeit they're painted grey. Sure, they no longer wear the green liveries, but they managed to stick out from CSX's standard liveries in rather... interesting ways. Both ending up in different places at the end, and getting decent endings.